Robert Schultz asks, Have you led anyone to Christ with your videos? I assume Robert is new to my channel and doesn't follow me on Facebook or Twitter. But don't worry, Robert, we'll get you up to speed. Jean-Baptiste adds, Hey David, any volume two coming up on leaving Islam? God bless you. Good timing, Jean, because over the past few days, I've been hearing from tons of Christians who keep telling me that I don't know how to interact with Muslims. According to westernized Christians, we shouldn't criticize Muhammad or the Quran, we shouldn't call jihadis cowards, and so on, because this will only drive Muslims away. Instead, we should just be nice to them, and their hearts will melt. Interestingly, Muslims don't seem to have received this memo, because I've found, through years of interacting with Muslims, that many Muslims respect a confrontational approach far more than they respect sending them flowers. They're more impressed by fearlessness and boldness than they are by niceness. They might get upset when you blast them with facts about Muhammad, but upsetting them is not the same thing as driving them away. In our last installment of Leaving Islam, we read comments from 10 former Muslims. Let's look at 10 more. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, By the grace of God, I am out from Islam after I see many videos of David Wood. Thank you, bro. God bless you. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, I saw your video about Christianity. And I, too, asked a chaplain to give me lessons, although I didn't get straight A's. He's referring to my testimony video where I said that I got some Bible studies from the chaplain at the jail I was in. I have converted. I reread the life of Muhammad. And coupled with the Gospel of Matthew and Luke, I believe that Jesus is my only hope for salvation. Love and forgiveness ultimately leading a person to be pure-hearted and to a pure life. My Christian name is Nicholas, because I like that name, haha. -ha. So, peace and God bless. Two things are interesting about Nicholas. One, some Muslims, after they leave Islam, want to immediately change their names from a Muslim name to a Christian name. Names don't really have the same significance for us as they do in other parts of the world. But in certain areas, names are a much more important part of your identity. We find this in the Bible. After Nabil became a Christian for the first year or so, he was wondering if he should change his name. Second, Nicholas's first message to me was that he was going to chop my head off. I posted his first comment on Facebook as yet another Islamic death threat. We went back and forth, and then he became a Christian. The takeaway here is that two people can do the same thing for very different reasons. One Muslim sends you a death threat because you've criticized Muhammad, and the penalty for criticizing Muhammad is death. Another Muslim sends you a death threat because you've given him a lot of new information about Muhammad. It's difficult for him to deal with, he's getting frustrated, so he lashes out in anger, not because the penalty for criticizing Islam is death, but because his worldview is crumbling. So keep that in mind if someone threatens to kill you. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death writes, You guys, David and Sam, are my favorite. By listening to your videos, I left Islam. Islam is a death cult and not a religion of peace whatsoever. Allah is not the same God of the Bible because God is love and Allah is hatred. There's many reasons, but the most important reason is because Jesus is God in the flesh. There's so many errors about Christianity in the Quran and the Hadiths also. Muslims are waiting for Isa and the Al-Mahdi and in the Bible, a false prophet and antichrist is rising. I believe that it could be the fake Jesus and the Mahdi. Muslims will think they are fighting the Antichrist at the end, but they will be fighting against Jesus. Muslims long for Israel's destruction, and that's biblical prophecy. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, David, thank you for making me believe in Jesus and also for making me leave Islam. You are the best. God bless you. Then I pointed out that I can't take credit for him believing in Jesus, and he replied, Thanks, I have seen all of your videos, by the way, and that's how I changed my way of thinking. Islam is indeed a terrible religion. Hopefully, other people open their eyes and turn to Jesus and live in peace for the rest of their lives. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, David, your videos are the reason I eventually got off the Shabir, referring to Shabir Ali, bandwagon and undergo my conversion to Christianity. Thank you. 
Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death rights. You're the most beautiful person, David. You made me leave Islam and come back to Christianity. Thank you. Notice the contrast here. Westernized Christians say, you're too aggressive in your videos. What an awful person. Former Muslims say, you're so aggressive in your videos that you forced me to listen. What a beautiful person. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, David, I cannot thank you enough for what you have done in my life. I converted to Islam back in 2010 without doing all my research, obviously, but the videos by you, Sam Shamoon and Nabil, were the exact resources I need to realize that Islam could not possibly be from God. I thank you for guiding me back into the arms of Christ, and I pray that you continue to spread the truth about the death cult that is Islam and the false prophet that is Muhammad. Without you, I would still be spiritually lost and morally dead. May our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, bless you and all your endeavors. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Because of Nabil, you, and Frank, who is my Christian friend, I left Islam. Thanks for showing the real side of Islam. Darkness. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Hi David, big fan, I'm an ex-Muslim, baptized November last year, a born-again Christian. Your videos started my journey of being awakened to the truth. Answered a lot of my questions, thank you for that. Did you hear about Anjum Chowdhury getting convicted for supporting Islamic State? May serve up to 10 years. Thanks again for all your work, spreading the word. I've learned so much from you. Kindest regards. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Dear David Wood, no name because the penalty for leaving Islam is death. He got that from Leaving Islam Part 1. I am from Saudi Arabia, where it is a rarity to see women's faces, except in big cities with large expat populations. I left Islam after learning about Islam's barbaric traditions and laws compared to those of Christ and Western secular thinkers. Thank you and other preachers for offending me and showing me and others how idiotic and barbaric Islam is. May God bless you. Many thanks. No name because the penalty for leaving Islam is death. Notice again the contrast. Westernized Christians say, don't offend Muslims, it'll drive them away. Former Muslims say, thank you for offending me. It made me start thinking. Some of the earliest advice I ever got on reaching Muslims was from Zachariah Boutros. He said, Muslims are asleep. You have to wake them up. You wake them up with a short, sharp shock. At the time, he had a $60 million Al-Qaeda hit on his head for leading so many Muslims out of Islam. So his approach is to shock Muslims into listening by giving them a lot of information about Muhammad that they've never heard before because their leaders conceal it from them. What do Christians generally tell us in the West? Whatever you do, don't say anything that might shock or startle or offend Muslims. And then they wonder why so few Muslims are listening.